morning skate for New Jersey yesterday, and he was extolling your virtues to the point where I had to question uh, if uh, you had to, to grease him with a little red or white uh, uh, to say all those nice things about you. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't happen too often. So <laughs> he, he, he told me I saw him there after the game. So he said, I built you up, I built you up. And I said, yeah, I sure you did. Yeah. But, uh, no, it was, it was great to catch up with him and see him. Is that the first time you've gone head to head with him as a head coach? Because uh, uh, you might have cross paths with him when you were in Columbus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. He was in Buffalo then. Yeah. Did you beat him? Mm, I know we didn't in their building. Uh, maybe in our building, we might have. Not sure. Yeah. How satisfying was that victory last night with the way that it unfolded? Uh, you know, the early adversity with Raz going out in that. Yeah. You know, the uh, you never want to see injuries like that, and then you're short, not short on the bench. But l luckily, it's not one of those situations where we've just come off a back-to-back -back or we've we a heavy schedule. So uh, I thought the guys stepped up and played different roles. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we lost to Dallas, uh, you know, a game that just felt that we could have been better. And I just really liked the way we responded against uh, Jersey. We came out against a really good team, real good team from the East, and, and played a, a real solid game. Yeah, I guess the challenge, you know, it's always what have you done for us lately, but will, will the anticipation be that Buffalo will mount some of the same type of challenges that you saw from New Jersey? Yeah, uh, it's kind of what we're seeing, these young teams that can, you know, have a lot of top end and young skill that, uh, you know, want to a, play a high tempo game. And it's just, again, and it's going to be repetitive, but it's us being, you know, being smart about how we play these teams and not getting in a track meet, not trying to change uh, trade chances. and. Um, you know, making making those teams defend. So. Yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, Scott, upon further examination, what is Rasmus's status? Yeah, he's, he's uh, not good here, so it'll probably be, you know, we're looking at, you know, somewhere four to six, you know, four or five to seven weeks here. We'll, so we'll just kind of, he'll, he'll get looked at a little bit more here, but so it's his shoulder. Uh, with Gabe Burrell on the ice with his teammates today, uh, you mentioned Next Wednesday in Tampa is a potential first practice date with him, but since he's out there today, is it possible yeah. that he might be out there sooner? Yeah, no, this was uh, that was just because it was a skills day. Him getting out there and just wanted him. That's his first real day with the guys and kind of pretty excited about being out there. And But when you go into practice now, there's a possibility of, by mistake, running into somebody or turning the wrong way at, at the wrong time. So we're just... We're not quite there yet, so we'll, I mean, if you notice some of those drills, he was kind of standing on the outside of all of that. We're just we'll wait for Mullet to give us the okay when he can actually get right in the. You know, he'll have to go in on a, in a non-contact jersey, uh, but with they also with the thought that if something happens where he take you know he gets himself in a situation that he's not going to re-hurt himself. And one last one about last night, uh, Scott. So was there a side bet between you and Lindy? Uh, there's no gambling in the NHL. You know, there's just <laughs> some strict penalties out there. So <laughs> I'll, I will I will catch up to him in the summer. Maintenance today, Scott. Yeah. Done. Yep. 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 Do you expect to call a forward up tomorrow from the Moose or uh, later? We're talking about it right now. They're taking off on a road trip, so um, obviously we're short of body up front. So uh, we're going to talk about it probably right now and kind of see what we'll do next. Eleven and seven. What's your what's your normal theory on that? I know you said you want to get Logan a game. I know Rick isn't a huge fan of it, but uh, what, what, is it something we could see more, or would you prefer to go twelve and six, especially with the back to back here on the weekend? Yeah, I don't have a really good taste in my mouth right now after what happened because it's the first time I did it and I lose a forward. But uh, I know I know our forwards are excited about it. When we got down to three lines, they were jumping over the boards every third shift. But um, no, I, I'm not a, I'm, I, 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 I like doing it. I've, I've been on lots of teams that have done that in the past. And as long as your top people are playing, Mo got his 24 minutes, you know, DeMello and Dylan, those guys are, Pionk, they're all getting their minutes. You got to make sure about that. Uh, but, um, you know, it's not an all the time thing. I think it's especially you couldn't do it, um, Friday night with a Saturday game because, you know, your forwards are probably getting, somebody's getting worn down a little bit too much. So. Um, I'll probably look back going to a regular roster. Then. Scott, just two, two instances last night where your team kind of, like, they get up to nothing, they come back, it's 2-2. How did you like the response after that and, and the start of the third where New Jersey was kind of bringing it pretty yeah. good? Yeah, I mean, that's why there's 60-minute games. Um, you know, it's no different than we were down in Arizona. We're down 2 nothing and came back. A lot of hockey uh, left to play in those situations, um, you know, for us. I really liked our group and I liked our veteran group when they did tie it up. Uh, actually, our bench was really good. Guys were um, not sort of, uh, everybody was talking about, let's get back after them, let's put that behind us and move on. And they, they were real good about it. And it's, uh, we did, we got ourselves going again and got that third goal. And 
Um, that's a good sign of a team that's, uh, you know, never really gets rattled and kind of stays in the moment and, and just do what they need to do. On Chisholm, uh, just reaction from Mark Morrison. What, what did he think of Declan's game? Chisholm on the weekend, what did, what did Mo think about the yeah, way that he played? You know what, the biggest thing was conditioning. First game was a lot going hard, like running, running real well. Second game, back-to-back. Uh, I think it was a morning game or whatever, so there was uh, the conditioning part, which we knew and he knew that was going to be a big factor. And uh, But all in all, it sounded like he was pretty good.